harness the ocean's energy to create electricity, but there's been a big expensive setback to those plans, and the company building the project has jumped ship. Well, Ken Body is following the money. I'm here at Vigor Shipyards on Swan Island, and behind that gate, there's a 260 ton buoy that's supposed to help create electricity out of ocean waves. But after millions of dollars spent, it looks like that project won't happen. This is a similar buoy deployed in Scotland by Ocean Power Technology, the same company that built the buoy in Oregon. I found out that after nearly $9 million spent, mostly by the federal government, Ocean Power abandoned the buoy in Oregon, partly because they couldn't afford to finish it. They decided instead to move their work to Australia, which gave them $62 million. However, Oregon is still out $430,000 in lottery funds for the abandoned project here. Should we continue to spend money on a technology that is still in its infancy? Well, uh, I think a lot of folks are in agreement that that's where the tax dollars are best spent. I went to Jason Bush, executive director of the Oregon Wave Energy Trust. The nonprofit group has gotten $12 million from the state since 2008 to promote and develop ocean based wave energy. The lottery money was funneled through the trust. How disappointing is it that you weren't able to get this thing in the water? Well, it's personally disappointing. But he told me the project isn't a bust. He said what Oregon learned about ocean wave technology could make the state a leader in the industry, an industry that could help provide future power needs along with hydro, wind, and solar. I found the governor's 10-year energy action plan, which supports wave energy, and it states, wave energy has significant potential not only to provide additional resources to power Oregon, but to create a business cluster and models that can be exported to other states and countries around the world. We're not trying to uh, you know, catch up with one of these other sources of generation. This is a brand new way of doing it. The buoy project was supposed to kickstart Oregon's entry into wave energy. But with the death of the project, it looks like it may be years before it's finally off the ground. Aswan Island, Ken Body, Coin 6 News.